Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Wordsmith YouTube channel. I'm Carl Joshua, your host and a passionate vocalist and musician. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm thrilled to dive into another Dimash Kudai Bergen performance. This time, by popular request, we have Ave Maria. Now, I have been told by you, my lovely and excellent commenters and subscribers, that this is not the Ave Maria I'm thinking of. So, naturally, I'm more excited. This, though, is an Igor Krutoy composition, and we all know that when Dimash and Igor collaborate, magic happens. So, hey, if you're into this type of content, please do subscribe if you haven't already, and give me a thumbs up that really does assist me with the algorithm. But that's enough from me. Let's dive straight into it. A huge thank you to all my patrons for your invaluable support on my Patreon page. Your contributions mean the world to me. For those who haven't joined yet, now's the perfect time. With options starting at just $1 per month, you can become a patron and help me continue creating and sharing my passion with you all. Join us and be part of our amazing community. Click on the link below to find out more. Now back to the video. Okay, so here we go. This is at New Wave, by the way. Hope you guys like the new setup. Okay, I, I get the sense that he's just about to sing. Obviously, this is my first time listening to this and reacting to it. So before we get into him actually singing, let's talk about the music for a second. So this introduction is really interesting. It sets an intriguing tone with low strings underneath, producing a very ominous vibe. And it's accompanied what I think is a rain stick. And there's an addition of some percussive elements like sticks. And then there's also a heartbeat uh, that's possibly generated by a synthesizer, which adds another layer of depth to it. Um, and I'm actually really interested to hear about the inclusion of AI into music and software programs. Um, it's really amazing. And all of the combinations of sounds here create a fascinating array of textures for the intro. And I'm loving it. It's really unique. Uh, and to see all of these playful sounds at work, awesome stuff. Okay, so let's keep it going. Ah. Man, you know, it, it doesn't take much for you to just be transported to Dimash land, his kingdom where he reigns over everyone, serenading them beautifully, and then we just listen in awe and wonder. There's a few things I notice here in the beginning, and let's just talk about them for a second. Hope you guys don't mind me pausing. I will be pausing throughout this entire video because not only is it a reaction video, but it's a vocal analysis one as well. So please do bear with me, guys. For those of you who are musicians and are singers, you would know all too well that initiating a musical piece during a performance is undeniably one of the most challenging moments. It's like embarking on a journey where you have the full knowledge that the first steps sets the entire tone for the entire experience. Singing delicately is a formidable feat on its own, and the level of precision and control you need to have has to be perfectly on point. So when we look at Dimash and we witness someone start a song with the finesse and subtlety that he effortlessly achieves is nothing short of awe-inspiring. It's not just singing, it's an art form elevated to another level. 
His ability to delicately navigate through these initial moments of a composition, it demonstrates his mastery and it captivates the audience from the very start, like I am right now. So Dimash is truly a maestro when it comes to the art of just singing softly. It goes beyond mere vocal prowess. It's a profound understanding of how to convey emotion, connect with the audience, and create an intimate musical experience. His, and I, I love this about him, his expertise in the realm of gentle melodic expressions is truly unparalleled and just outstanding. So let's keep it going. Interesting. So this is all vocalese. So he's just singing without words. I think when it comes to Dimash, what sets him apart is his skillful play with different textures of breathiness in his vocals, especially when exploring these ethereal O and R vowel sounds. It's not just about hitting the right notes. It's about crafting the sort of nuanced and textured sonic landscape that adds that layer of depth and richness to his overall performance. So perhaps the most remarkable aspect, at least from my opinion, is his ability to leverage all of the unique giftings that he has in very unique ways. It draws an array of vibrant colors from each note in lyric. It's akin to painting with a palette of emotions using his vocal instrument to create a spectrum of feelings that deeply resonate with the audience. He's not saying anything, yet we're captivated. The utilization of breathiness becomes a tool for his artistic expression, turning each performance into a dynamic and unforgettable experience. In essence, oh, that was very wordy for me, but what I'm saying is that what he achieves is not just singing. It's a symphony of skill, emotion, and creativity. It's a testament to the brilliant dedication to the craft and an invitation for the audience, like ourselves, to immerse ourselves in the beauty of his musical expression. Excellent. So, let's keep it going. Oh, key change. Okay, so check this out. We've got a key change in the mix when he started off there. It's like flipping a switch and diving into a whole new vibe. And there's more intensity coming into the song. And can we talk about the build-up in the song? Seriously, it's like a roller coaster of emotions, keeping you hooked from one note to the next. It was very soft, very serene, and now it's starting to become a little bit more intense. And here's the cool part as well. No lyrics, just some vocalese action going on where you're just singing without words. And guess what? Dimash don't need any words. His voice does all the talking, and man, it is something else. And how about that angelic vibe he's got going on? I mean, seriously, it's like he's singing from another realm. It's heavenly, and it sounds just downright gorgeous. Dimash sure knows how to take you on a musical journey without saying a single word. It's just... It's... It's magic for your ears. And what I'm also noticing is that he's holding these vowels in his soprano range while the whole song is cranking up bit by bit. It's like this musical buildup and he's just there holding out in those sustained notes. So that's excellent again. 
Okay, really excited to keep going. Let's see what Dimash has in store for us. I'm, I'm betting he's gonna go off at some point. So, something that I notice about Dimash, and I think I've said this before, but the man sings a lot with his body. And you notice when he's going a little bit higher, his arms move away from his body a bit like this. And when he's doing that, he's actually trying to reach for the note. I don't think he's doing it intentionally. I think his body moves autonomously in tandem with his voice. And I, I would love to know if he's actually spoken about that. But anyway, when you do actually reach for the higher note, a lot of people tend to think you need to force it out and be a lot more intense into the vocal. In fact, all you need to do is just sort of slightly relax a bit. It doesn't take as much force as it does just that little bit more energy to reach that higher note. And he does that so perfectly and so beautifully. So Dimash here, showing what he's made of, he's nowhere near full tilt. I've, I've heard him at full tilt. And I just feel like he's so comfortable. He's so at home singing like this. And it's not even easy to sing like this. So anyway, let's keep it going. Ooh, holding the note. Okay, well, I, I did, I, I sort of predicted that he was going to go off and he did. And he always goes off in a really big way. Ah, oh, loving that, loving that for us. Okay, so let's talk about that unbelievable part, right? That was a C6 that he just hit. I mean, we've seen him go even higher, but the fact that he can pull it off so effortlessly is always mind-blowing. I never cease to be shocked by that. And look, you can be anyone. I don't care who you are. You would find it difficult to do that. But for Dimash, it's like a walk in the park. It's a Dimash thing, you know? Right, back at it. Oh. That is so impressive. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so why am I freaking out more about the part that came after the C6 than the actual C6 itself? So here's the reason. When you hit a high note or a big note, usually people just end it. But then Dimash is smoothly gliding back down to a soft, controlled onset. That's the real magic. It's not just about reaching the peaks. It's about the finesse of coming back down and still nailing it delicately. And it's just downright remarkable. Dimash's vocal game is on a completely different level. And wow, I mean, man, that performance, it just keeps leveling up. And did you catch that crescendo and then the smooth day crescendo and then he throws in some vibrato and then straight tones like it's, it's, it's no big deal. And get this, 
he's done all of that after hitting that C6 earlier. Like, who does that? Who can do that? I mean, think about it. Most folks would need a breather after hitting a note like that, but not Dimash. No, 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 no. He's out there. He's adding layers to his performance, playing with the vocal dynamics and making it all seem so effortless. It's like he's got this vocal superpower or something. The dude's on a, he's on a whole nother level, guys. Whole nother level. There's no question about that. So anyway, some final thoughts. Okay, so I'm a deer. So anything Dimash performs, I'm probably going to end up loving. This particular song, though, I really love it. Because it poses a significant challenge for 99% of singers if they try to sing it, but Dimash is that 1%. The way he seamlessly integrates various vocal techniques is truly outstanding. Additionally, having Igor Krutoy as the composer must be a delight, considering Dimash's incredible vocal versatility. So I must express my sincere admiration for this performance. It was truly a joy to witness. So thank you to everyone for recommending this to me. It was outstanding. And there's not much more that can be said on that. It was simply Dimash. Well, that's all from me, everyone. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell below to stay tuned for exciting updates and new content. For those who want to take it a step further and support my creative journey, I would hope that you would consider becoming a patron. Your support means the world to me and helps me continue creating the content that you love. Thank you for being part of this incredible journey with me. And until next time, be kind, be gentle, be loving to each other and help one another out when you can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone. Cheers. Thank you.